I have been meaning to take you guys along for a more in-depth, like, what I do in a day at the library um, for a while now. And today, the day is finally here. So as some of you guys might know, I am currently studying for my state examination, which is like this huge exam you take in Germany after doing medical school for five years. And students typically take like three to six months to prepare for the exam. I'm taking the exam in October. It's a three-day exam with 300 multiple choice questions. And so as you can imagine, I have been spending most of my time at the library preparing for the exam in these past Past few months. Luckily I'm obviously not the only person that has to take the exam so I often meet at the library with some friends and we study together or more like alongside of each other and I typically focus on one specialty for a few days and then move on to the next. At the moment I've been doing a lot of neurology which to be honest is not my favorite subject. I feel like a lot of people I know either love neurology or hate it and I am definitely more on the hate side of things even though hate is such a strong word but you kind of get what I mean. But in medical school you unfortunately don't get to choose um, and only pick the things you like. You have to learn everything. So I've been trying to make the best out of it and I've given neurology a little bit of extra love and a little bit of extra time, hoping that it will pay off later. <laughs> then once I'm done with neurology, I'm going to kind of reward myself by doing something that's a little easier to me. Like I think I'm going to do psychiatry because if you ask me, that tends to be a little bit easier to grasp. But look at how beautiful this library is. I was, I was even the first person there because it was a Sunday and on Sundays it tends to get really full so you have to be very early and I took that extremely seriously that day and I got to pick the spot which I liked the most which was a treat. So what I will do is I usually start with doing my flashcards and then I also read my textbooks because in the mornings my um, capacity to take in new knowledge is obviously the highest. And then I also do loads and loads of practice questions every day. When it comes to multiple choice exams, practice questions are so important because it's not just about learning and absorbing the knowledge, it's also about knowing how to apply it and getting used to the way the questions are posed so that you know how to figure out the right answer. I will usually spend six to 10 hours at the library depending on whether or not I have something going on in the afternoons or evenings. And it's honestly kind of funny because this really changed for me. In the beginning um, of medical school, I never went to the library and now it's I feel like it's the place where I can focus the most and I think that's because when I started so I started medical school in April of 2020 so when the pandemic was really hitting and because of the pandemic I actually had to start medical school at home at my parents house my room sitting behind the same desk that I used to study for high school and it took years for all the facilities and like activities to be open and available again at uni. So in the end of it, there's actually a big proportion of the medical school experience, which I missed out on. But at least it's the beginning and not the end of medical school, because now it makes me kind of feel nostalgic. And I would be so sad if I like had, I don't know, just a year of or even six months of medical school left and then I suddenly had to leave uni and never go back again so now I'm trying to get the most out of it and I think that's why I go to the library so much because now I have the opportunity you know that's it for my productive Sunday and see you in the next video